Tom Tancredo, you're at least 1,500 miles away from Washington, probably more like 2,000, and you view, view things from a mile high. So your perspective on the next step in U.S.-Israeli relations based on what you saw today? I think it could be nothing but positive. I think that the it's palpable, the relationship that exists today uh, between the United States and Israel and between the two leaders is di diametrically different and opposed to the relationship that existed in the last administration. That alone has got to be a good thing going forward. It, it also, I think, tells the Arab world in particular that a new sheriff is in town and lets they, I mean, just in case they didn't recognize it. And that from this point on, they cannot count on a sympathetic ear in the White House, which they could do in the past. And so I think if nothing else comes of it, from uh, that meeting, but the realization of what I just described, I think it's a win-win for the United States and I, for Israel. I agree. JD, let me just throw one thing in here. The, the problem is that the Israeli-Palestinian relationship is the small thing. It's the dependent variable in the region. The larger independent variables are defeating ISIS and pushing back Iran. First thing you got to do is crush ISIS. Second thing you got to do is push the Iranians back on all fronts. Got to push them out of Lebanon. You got to reduce their influence in Syria. You have to reduce their influence on the Arabian Peninsula. Those two big things have to be done first. If you do those big things first, then the smaller thing of the Israeli-Palestinian dispute, then you have a chance to resolve that. 